In 2019, Robert Rodriguez directed a film called Alita Battle Angel, and I've never seen it, so today we're going to knock it off the bucket list and get it done. Welcome back to the channel, movie fans. My name is Adam, and today we are going to be talking about 2019's Robert Rodriguez directed film Alita Battle Angel. I'm a big fan of Rodriguez's work. I feel like he's kind of an underrated, underappreciated director rather, and he has a lot of good movies here that get kind of overlooked and get kind of forgotten, honestly. And I think some of my favorite ones that stick out is From Dust Till Dawn, Sin City, The Faculty, the first two Spy Kids movies, and even Planet Terror and part of that Grindhouse uh, collaboration he did with Tarantino. And Alita Battle Angel has to be kind of considered in that mold it kind of uh kind of uh and kind of fits perfectly with his filmography here and i don't know why i never watched this movie way back in 2019 it's only five years ago mind you but there was a lot of good movies coming back in 2019 and this is definitely one that flew under the radar and i, I was like i don't know if i'd really want to see this and it, it kind of reminded me and that's probably to my ignorance is kind of the charlotte johansson's ghost in the shell i was kind of that you know anime movie brought to life and uh, this kind of had that same vibe and kind of uh tones to it from the trailer mind you so i guess i didn't want to be burned by that and i know the anime version of ghost of shell is far superior than what johansson was brought to that her movie brought to the screen so maybe that had some little carryover effect with alita battle angel but i'm happy to say we have resolved this issue when we watched alita battle angel this week so let's talk about it when alita awakens with no memory of who she is a future world where she doesn't recognize is she's brought in by a good doctor named ido who realizes that somewhere in the abandoned cyborg shell is the heart and soul of a young woman with an extraordinary past now before i jump into what i really loved about this movie let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought thought of Alita Battle Angel and what kind of some of your favorite favorite fun moments make sure you guys like share and smash that subscribe button for more movie conversations anyway so first off I gotta say the visual tone and scope of the movie is very well thought out and I attribute that to Rodriguez here because a lot of his movies do look very similar I feel like part of the the big uh, battle uh, robot battle sequences here uh, has some rollerball in there and also some spy kids 3d which with that Sylvester Stallone there's a bunch of like crazy races but more uh, visualized and better uh, visual effects there as well because that can, you can contribute that probably to James Cameron's involvement in this movie as well and I, I, I do like the bigger name actors here too I think Right, those recognizable faces like the Oscar winner Christoph Waltz and Oscar winner Mahershala Ali, as well as Jennifer Connelly, and even a, a face that I didn't really know too well, and that's Rose, Rosa Salazar. And Rosa Salazar is our uh, big lead here. She's very big, bright eyed, and uh, she kicks a lot of butt in this movie. And I, I don't recall seeing Rosa Salazar in anything but I did click on her letterbox thing and she was in Marcella's Marcella's show with shoes on she was in some of the Mace Runner movies as well as Bird Box so stuff I have seen but it was one of those faces I didn't really quite pick up in the crowd but Rosa Salazar brings kind of like an innocence to this Alita character especially in the early uh, stages of the movie but she definitely quite quickly matures right before our eyes and she becomes more and more powerful as her memory kind of comes back to her and i think that's really awesome having a character like alita here you have to have an actress that you can kind of resonate and kind of root for and i think you really get that with rosa salazar i think she ha really brings this like innocence to this character like i said before but also this power to it and she has really like, a lot of co good confidence here and it's an actress i really want to see her be able to have an opportunity to do a sequel to this movie and we'll talk about uh kind of the downfall of maybe probably to this movie here but also seeing waltz and ali kind of match screen time with her and kind of add those interesting their character arcs here especially waltz doing things i never thought i would ever see christoph waltz actually doing being up like a kind of a bounty hunter in a way and then mahersha ali uh being this kind of really eerily cool looking guy like a like the coolest movie character in the in the entire film here and he brings his presence as this uh evil figure here lurking in the shadows kind of pulling strings here but maybe he's being also pulled here by this other bigger star here maybe not big, the bigger star but and then also we see like um, Jackie or Earl Haley up here in this movie uh, who plays Grewishka, which is like this bigger bounty hunter just going after Alita here. Uh, it was kind of fun to see him back. We hadn't really seen him doing a whole lot, maybe like Shutter Island and maybe Watchmen, which came out of 
several years before Alita here. So it's good to see Jackie Earl Haley. I'm a big fan of his his stuff here as well. Jennifer Connelly as well just kind of radiates the screen, and whenever she's on, you're kind of paying attention there. So it's cool to see Jennifer Connelly in a kind of a prominent role. And I really wanted her character to be more developed and more into this because I think there was some mysterious uh, ongoings behind the behind the uh, character there too. So it was cool to see here. Uh, there's a ton of other like fun characters that you do see here, and again, uh, really contribute the visual scope from Robert Rodriguez. The one thing I kind of felt lacking in this movie because the movie is about you know a little almost two hours long, a little over two hours long. Uh, there's a lot going on here, and I'm not sure if maybe they had to cram a bunch of stuff in because they knew they weren't gonna, maybe going to get a sequel. I think that's the downfall here. I, I, I'm more interested to see a sequel here now that I've seen this movie. Because the, the fight sequences are amazing. However, there's so much stuff going on and crammed packed with this in two hour time that you're basically going to like, I guess I, I guess the best comparison here, I guess I should say, is it feels like a graphic novel, right? It feels like you're basically just flipping the page between set pieces and uh, ex exposition here. And you're just kind of going and moving along with the story rather fast instead of just living in this world. And maybe that's the downfall to Rodriguez's movies because he, he has this chaotic pace to a lot of the movies and they do kind of go fast but he did do like sin city which is a graphic novel in its own right so with this being kind of like anime style mixed with some graphic novel type of stuff here too it just feels like it's just too much chaoticness going on because there's so many characters so much big set pieces such a visual world that is very v uh, vx heavy uh, special effects are definitely on par here i'm surprised this didn't actually win for best visual effects because I think they are really breath breathtaking. There's a lot of stuff that they do do in this movie that uh, I was kind of blown away by. Uh, the best parts of this movie are seeing Rosa Zara kick a lot of ass as Alita, and a lot of the big set pieces are fantastic. I really didn't care for a lot of the uh, the some of the interactions, especially this like kind of relationship she has in the movie with this character named Hugo. I really didn't buy that that really and you kind of knew the twist with that character rather like quickly and it, it just didn't feel like it was developed or it felt rushed and then you're supposed to care about what happens in the film with between them and again I found myself just not really caring about that I just wanted to see my more of the action the more of the set pieces here and what what the end game of the movie was and I've seen haven't seen this before but knowing that it's been five years and there's no story really details about a second Alita movie uh, possibly that we're waiting on James Cameron to finish the Avatar movies that's kind of a disappointment because I did enjoy the movie for a lot of the visual stuff that I did see here but I felt like that maybe the story was a lacking a little bit so I'm like at two and a half stars it's something I definitely can recommend to people because I think it's very entertaining and I had fun with it I just wanted more from it and I kind of want to see a sequel here because I think there's a lot of good um, ground to see bring into this character this is a character i would definitely want to kind of jump into their world and kind of explore as well i think there's so much uh, vast uh, things they could do with it and not being familiar with if this was a property or anything like that too it's really a credit to robert rodriguez and his kind of chaotic style and nature of filmmaking here uh, bummer that he can't get uh, like a sequels off the ground anymore since like spy kids because there's a, definitely a, w a bunch that i want him to do like i want to see another planet terror movie i want to see him dive into the more crazy natured films um, now he's like kind of doing mandalorian stuff which is cool he's working with uh doing those star wars stuff which is some of his episodes are rather fun but i need a battle angel a kind of a a sad uh sad end to a kind of pretty cool movie because we, i don't know when that sequel's coming but that is my simple quick thoughts takes and opinion on alita battle angel i do want to know in the comment section down below what you guys thought leave a like share and comment down there and let's have a good conversation down there and thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and go watch another movie flick fans